Klippel Trinoy Weber syndrome is one of the rarest syndrome. Rare syndromes are unique because they pose a challenge to healthcare providers at level of diagnosis, at level of counseling, and ultimately when it comes to management. Let's start with our discussion. One month old female baby weighing 4.3 kilos with head circumference of 35 cm presented with complaint of swelling on lower back, large left lower limb, large fingers of both foot since birth. On examination, left lumbar area is swollen. Port wine stain is present on lateral surface of left thigh. Whole left lower limb is hypertrophied with macrodactyly in same and other foot. Based on presenting complaint and examination findings, a diagnosis of klippel trinoy syndrome is made. klippel trinoy syndrome is a trend of vascular malformation, which in most cases is port wine stain, venous varicosity and hyperplasia of soft tissue and bone. Let's again have a look at port wine stain. I am pausing it over here for more discussion. Port wine stain in these patients are usually present since birth and usually are restricted to part of one lower limb. Occasionally port wine stains develop multiple small dark red colored blisters that break open and bleed easily. These blisters are quite evident in this port wine stain. klippel trinoy syndrome is also associated with hyperplasia of soft tissue and bone. Usually this abnormal growth is limited to one lower limb. However, Overgrowth may also affect foot, arms or the earthly trunk as in our case. X-ray of lower limbs was ordered to evaluate this baby further. If you observe carefully, you will notice that all left lower limb bones are quite large as compared to right side. Finally, this baby was evaluated for venous varicosity. I am pausing it over here for more discussion. Besides venous varicosities, arteriovenous malformations are also present. These arteriovenous malformations are quite evident in this picture. So the diagnosis now becomes klippel trinoy weber syndrome which has all the findings present in klippel trinoy syndrome plus arteriovenous malformation as an additional finding. The incidence of this syndrome is about 1 in 1 lakh people worldwide. klippel trinoy weber syndrome occurs sporadically which means that it occurs in people with no history of the disorder in the family. It is believed that somatic mutations probably occur very early in development and are present only in certain cells. It is because of these somatic mutations that signs and symptoms are often limited to specific parts of the body which is usually lower limb. It would be easy to remember complications and pursue treatment if we keep in mind each component of the syndrome. It should be remembered over here that treatment is primarily supportive as definitive treatment is still not available. Let's start one by one. Vascular malformation in most cases is port wine stain which leads to cosmetic problem. Occasionally port wine stain develops small red blisters that break open and bleed easily. Laser therapy in the form of flash lamp pulse style laser is often effective in lightening the color of port wine stain. Laser therapy is also indicated when there is breakdown and ulceration of small red blisters as present in our case. Another component is venous varicosity which leads to slow movement and stasis of blood in veins leading to lymphedema, stasis dermatitis, cutaneous ulceration and bleeding. It is due to same mechanism that is slow movement and stasis of blood in these varicose veins that coagulopathy sets in and leads to pulmonary embolism. Compression therapy in the form of compression garments are advised for chronic venous insufficiency in the form of lymphedema, stasis, dermatitis, cutaneous ulceration and bleeding. Limb elevation is of benefit in patients with predominant lymphedema. Anticoagulant therapy is indicated in cases of acute thrombosis or as a preventive measure before surgical procedures. Hyperplasia of soft tissue and bones lead to orthopedic complications in the form of leg length discrepancy, compensatory scoliosis and at times hip dislocation. Absolute indication for orthopedic surgical intervention is leg length discrepancy which is projected to exceed 2 cm at skeletal maturity and which can be treated with epiphysiotesis in growing child. For discrepancies less than 2 cm, shoe inserts are sometimes advised. Arteriovenous malformation 
is the component linked to Weber part of the syndrome and is associated more with thrombophlebitis, coagulopathy, congestive heart failure than hemodynamically significant as in our case, pulmonary embolism, stasis, dermatitis, cutaneous ulceration and bleeding, many of which are present in our case. Supportive therapy in the form of compression garments and surgical intervention in the form of vein ligation, vein resection and in rare cases, debulking surgery and amputation are advised. Pain is a debilitating problem for patients with klippel trinoi weber syndrome and is related to multiple causes including cellulitis, superficial and deep thrombosis or maybe neuropathic in origin. Treatment in the form of compression garments, pain medication, limb elevation, antibiotics and anticoagulant therapy should be advised for these patients.